Tonight on Carolyn Fox's Hollywood Spotlight, singer, songwriter, blues guitarist extraordinaire Paul Mark of Paul Mark and the Van Dorans is my special guest in the studio. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, Carolyn. We are delighted to have you here. Your brand new CD, The Smartest Man in the Room, has it's, it's not merely a good time, although your music is always a good time, but it has something to say. It's a very meaty album. Uh, maybe so. I, I Yeah, I'm glad you had a good time with it. <laughs> some people would tell me, some of that stuff's dark, Paul. It <laughs> is dark. Tell, take, us, really take us to the dark side, please. Well, I don't know if it is. I mean, you know, we're, there's definitely the attitude of the musicians and everybody in the studio that you hear, and it's a very live-sounding record, so immediately, bang, when you hear it, you go, oh, this isn't one of those overproduced things. That everybody, it's, it's not a Steely Dan record, put it that way. <laughs> it, we're, you know, we're musicians in a studio doing things. But at the same time, I write a lot of songs, and so we cut through the songs, and then you try to find some sort of attitude about what it's all about. And uh, at least at this time, for this record, you know, we came up with something that was a little, uh, I don't know, pointing the finger a little bit, I think. Yeah, well, and without a doubt, the album cover is delightful. You have, <laughs> well, you have a, a, it's a, like a 1950s classroom right, with right. kids, which is about the right vintage for some mm -hmm. of the folks who you have on here. And then some of the, mm -hmm. the faces are replaced with folks like, oh, I see Dick Cheney, I see Colin Powell, I see Alan Greenspan, mm -hmm. uh, Bernie Madoff, mm -hmm. the Pope, um, Condoleezza Rice. Mm -hmm. So you're, when you talk about the smartest man in the room, clearly you're alluding to these folks. And yeah. if, if you don't recognize somebody, and I didn't recognize some of them, the liner notes it's are like a puzzle, so isn't it? helpful. You can put the whole puzzle together. <laughs> I was taking it to friends and saying, look at this, who do you recognize here? How's your political acumen? Let's well, take a test. It's like a little game. You can keep score with your friends. But then you have the complete, uh, you have not oh. only helpfully, that's not right. not merely the map so you can tell who's who. That's right. Hold, it, hold that up to the mic so your listeners can see I'm it. Holding it up to, <laughs> I'll hold it up to the camera. You have the, what, the guilty quote next to each one's name. Well, the, yeah. the, 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 the damning quote. The damning quote. It's a, it's a rogues gallery of current <laughs> events participants over the last 10, 15 <laughs> years or so. And, uh, yeah, we had fun putting that together. Oh. Um, but sort of, <laughs> you, you look at that and you kind of hear the music and hopefully you're getting something that we're talking about here. Oh. But yeah, it's uh, all big time players and uh, I don't know, like a lot of them are Wall Street type guys, you know, and a lot of it is, uh, and that's sort of a New York kind of story, you know. In, in New York, all these stories about what goes on in the financial markets and how horrible it's been over the last oh. 10 years and how just completely crazy. It's very much uh, part of New York consciousness. I'm sure it is around the country, but in New York it's just, it's well, everywhere. Because you, you, you have dinner with these people, you, they're, they're yeah. your neighbors, and, yeah. uh, and conversations get get interesting. <laughs> but you know, it's always, you know, my, my organ player called me this week and he said, he, you know who the smartest man in the, in the, uh, in the the smartest man in the room this week is it's Jamie Dimon. He's the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. And on the very same day that they announced they lost two billion dollars, he announced that he made twenty-three million dollars himself in salary. I said, "That's the smartest man in the room." <laughs> he is. 